Now that we've taken a look at effective political cartoons and the things we need to have in them, we're gonna focus on techniques. Techniques will pull everything together to make the political cartoon easy to understand and focus it, much like propaganda techniques did in propaganda. Let's start with the first one and one that's used a lot, that of symbolism. Symbolism is the use of simple images to represent large ideas. When I'm thinking about symbolism, a lot of times when we think of the US, we'll think of Uncle Sam, and we'll think of an eagle, or we might think of Lady Liberty or the Statue of Liberty. All of those symbols are connected with the United States, and so we're used to them. You can also use symbols for things that we know in general. Let's take a look at this example. Title, Feel the Burn. When I look at what's going on in this cartoon, I see a dragon that is breathing fire on someone who's trying to offer it something. When I look closer, I notice that this dragon has been labeled as global warming. I know that it's global warming that's doing the damage to this person. And when I, when I look at what this person is trying to give the dragon, I see that it says efforts thus far, and they're saying they're trying to give them a Tic Tac. The idea is that they're trying to solve global warming with very little effort and a very small thing, and that it's clearly not working. And instead they're paying the price, well, that of physical harm. The symbol of a dragon is highly effective because we all know that it's dangerous and could hurt us. Exaggeration or hyperbole, exaggerating the size or amounts to make a point. This could be a great tool in your political cartoons. Size denotes power. Here, the Russian bear is much larger than the small Ukraine woman. The size here denotes power and we get the sense that Russia is threatening because of it. We also get the sense that the Ukraine is weaker because it's smaller. You can also play around with amounts to make a point. If there's a problem and it's pretty serious, instead of having a realistic number, you could have it be a mountain big. Or if you have a situation that people are saying is a big problem but isn't, it could be a thimbleful. Let's look at this example, Inflategate. When I look at what's going on or the action in this scene, I see that it looks like a football game is going on but has stopped for a minute. When I look closer, I can see that it is President Joe Biden who is on the field and he's approaching the football, which is consumer prices. And he asks, where's Tom Brady when you need him? When I put this all together, I get that consumer prices are highly inflated right now and that it's a problem enough that it could stop him from playing the game. The reference to Tom Brady is making fun of that idea of inflation as well. This exaggeration helps us better understand the cartoon. Personification, giving human characteristics to inanimate non-living objects or animals. Groundhog COVID. When I look at what's happening in the scene, I see that the groundhog has come up from its hole and is looking around, but instead of its shadow, it sees and focuses on Omicron peaking. When I look at the dialogue, I see that the groundhog is thinking, forget spring, how much more of this? In this sense, I get the idea that the author of this political cartoon is wondering how much longer is this going to go on? And that that's more important than the traditional Groundhog Day and days of winter that we're used to. Personification can be a really useful tool. Um, notice in this cartoon, that instead they're using the Statue of Liberty um, and having them swim. We know the Statue of Liberty can't swim or talk, but there they are doing those human things. 